Maternity pictures. Mm, do I have a story for you guys? <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am 25 weeks pregnant. And I know you hear this from me like a lot, but I can't believe how fast this pregnancy is going. I only have two more weeks. No, I have this week and next week, and I'm in the third trimester. Oh my gosh. So as far as symptoms this week, my sciatic pain has been way worse than last week. I can't even like sit on the floor anymore, like at all, because that... I don't know, nerve or muscle or whatever the crap that is back there in my butt, it clenches up really tight and I can't move. It's awful. I have to like massage it or I have to, if I have to be on the floor, I have to like roll a little bit and wait for the muscle to relax before I can actually stand up. Standing up is now a process. And I'm really hoping that the next 15 weeks goes by really fast <laughs> because this nerve pain is just unreal. I am also feeling very huge and very breathless. I get out of breath very easy just going up and down the stairs to get to my floor of the apartment. But I do feel like my belly has gotten really big, especially the past few weeks. And I'm starting to get the comments from strangers if I'm ready to pop yet. And uh, <laughs> I don't like those comments. At least it's not the birth control comments. I hate those the most. You know, don't you guys know what birth control is? I've had one person ask me that and I just about lost it because I can't stand that comment. It's like your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Impressing upon me your idea for my family and I just don't think that's any of your business. So I've only gotten that comment once but I keep getting the you must be ready to pop comment and I don't hate that one as much because I do look pretty big. To give you guys a weight update since we're already here, <laughs> my pre-pregnancy was 145. I'm now at 170 which puts me 25 pounds above pre-pregnancy. Because of my belly size it is now starting to get harder for me to do things Things like shave. Uh, can we just stop for a minute and thank God that it's no shave November because it's pretty not great down there, you guys. It's just getting really hard for me to do it. This is also a very big pro to having a husband who works out of town a lot. This is a this is a good one because he's not here to care. And not that Devin does care. He's never been a big complainer about me and shaving. But still, he's not here to complain and it's no shave November, so Mama's looking kind of hairy. I'm having a contraction right now, so this is another symptom that I'm going to touch on since I'm having one right now. It's just a Braxton Hicks. It's not anything like crazy, but they are starting to pick up. It was, uh, before it was like one to two a day. Now I'm getting like three to four a day. And they're still mostly at night, but I still, like I'm having one right now. Uh, but I still get them during the day. And the last symptom that I have for you guys that I want to touch on my boobs are huge. They have grown so much lately. Like, I even brought a comparison. I hope you guys don't mind looking at my bras. But this is the bra that I bought, like, four weeks ago, I want to say. Does that sound right? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say four weeks. So this is the bra I bought four weeks ago, and it barely fits me. Like, I muffin top out of this thing. Like, you don't want to know. So this is the bra, and this is the bra that I wore right after I had Kinley. But, yeah. See how big of a difference that is? This is too small. This is too big. I float in this. I muffin top out of this. <laughs> I'm having boob issues, you guys. And I'm just too... I don't want to say lazy. I'm not lazy to buy another bra because that is something that every woman, you have to have one of those. It's not so much that. It's just the fact that the holidays are coming up and it's about to be Thanksgiving and Christmas and I just don't want to buy myself a bra right now with the holidays coming up. I might buy me one in like January after all of it is just done, but right now I'm just making my peace with sports bras. Another symptom that I'm dealing with that I've already made a whole other separate video on. If you haven't seen it, I'll have it in my description bar down below. Um, I have come to the realization this week that I do have antenatal depression and it was really bad this week. It was from like Monday to Wednesday. It was those three days. They were just so, they were really bad. I woke up sad. I was sad the whole day. I would cry randomly. I had no idea why and it didn't let up until about Thursday. And I am going to talk about it more as the weeks go on because one, it helps me to just get it out there and talk about it even though it's to an audience that is 
rather large, <laughs> it's still out there and it still makes me feel better. And number two, I just think that people in general need to be aware of this and this is something that does happen and it doesn't need to be as taboo as society makes it out to be. In other news, maternity pictures. Mm, do I have a story for you guys? <laughs> so maternity pictures were supposed to be today. We had the date picked out and the time picked out and all that jazz. She said we were good to go. So I contacted her on Monday to make sure that we were still okay, that everything was still good, and that we were still seeing her this Saturday. And she told me that her booking was really crazy and that she overbooked and she canceled on me. So I'm talking to a photographer right now and it's looking good and hopefully she can do them the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I'm just I don't know if she'll be able to because that's like really after the holidays and I just don't know what she's going to say. But I've contacted so many photographers and so many of them are booked and I feel kind of up a creek. So if the one that I'm talking to right now can't do it, then we're just, we won't be able to get them done. But I kind of want to cry because these pictures are going to be so important to us and I'm really disappointed and upset that the photographer we originally booked with was so unprofessional. Now I'm going to show you guys my 25 week bump. Before I do though, I want to show you guys what my belly looked like at 25 weeks with both Carly and Kinley. I went back into their albums and their pictures and I found that I have a bump picture at 25 weeks with all three girls. So I thought it would be like really cool for you guys to see what my belly looked like with the girls. So this is what my belly looks like from this side. This is the front. Can you like see my umbilical hernia through a shirt? Like, can you see that? <laughs> this side. And this is with the shirt up. Oh, you can really see my stretch marks good. Look at that. Yeah. You can see my pups much better this, this week too. And this is the pups on this side. See it much better. Can you see it on top? That rash right there, all the way over here. This is me scratching it because it itches like crazy. Yeah, that's pups. Yeah. You can see my um, uh, umbilical hernia still even because this part of my belly is way more pushed out than this part of my belly. But it's not as prominent as it was weeks before. So there's that. So here's the front. I seriously look nine months pregnant instead of like six and a half, am I? Almost seven? Something like that. And back around. So that's all that I have for you guys in my 25 week bump date. If you're not already on Baby Andy Watch, all of my links to my social media are down below in the description bar so you can check those out. And I will see you all Monday in a new vlog. Bye guys.